I was dying at Xfil a lot. So I made it a priority to find ways of extracting from the DMZ a much more sure thing. And in the process, I found a secret Xfil. I am player two, YouTube's main source for daily DMZ guides. So if you want to get ahead in Call of Duty's new game mode, consider subscribing. Now, there's really no way around it. For most of the match, there's three Xfils on your map that are going to be marked and used by every squad on Alma. Mazra, because the only way to progress in the DMZ is by successfully extracting. And most of the time, if a squad or solo is extracting from the DMZ, their backpacks are full of loot and mission items that they're trying to leave with. Because of this, they are a hotbed for PvP, naturally. If you sit by one of the X-Fills for long enough, eventually, enemy players are going to come by, especially with long-range weapons. You can at least tap a couple of them with low risk to you and your team. PvP is on Honestly, the best way to get loot in the DMZ. And I rarely see enemy squads until I reach the Xville. So the first thing that I want to recommend to you is timing. Most teams are going to loot up, complete a few missions and contracts, and have no problem getting to an Xville before the radiation timer hits zero. The best opportunity for you to Xfill safely is waiting till the last second. Once the timer hits zero, the radiation field is going to begin to expand till it eventually swallows up the whole map. Don't wait too long. As soon as the radiation reaches an exfil point, it will render it inactive and you won't be able to call in a chopper. Just wait until the radiation is close enough to the exfil that you want to hit and then make your way to it. This is going to reduce the amount of potential enemy players that you can encounter there. You also need to consider location. Like I said before, there's three exfils in every match of DMZ, but they're procedural, so they won't be the same in every single raid. After the radiation starts overtaking the map, a fourth exfil point is going to pop up on every player's map. You could wait till the last one shows up till you make your way out, but sometimes you already have important mission items or a backpack full of loot, and you don't want to wait 20 minutes or so to exfil. With the three that you're initially given, just make sure that you're not choosing one that is out in the open with minimal cover and with far away vantage points where enemy squads can easily pick you off. This is going to come naturally to you over time once you've played the map for a while and start to learn the locations. Now, the last tip that I have is probably the best. I'm going to recommend that every solo player does this every time. Everything that we just went over are the traditional extracts that every player is going to have access to. But there's another way to extract that is exclusive to you and your squad, where you can call down a chopper to a specific location if you're ready to extract immediately and don't want to risk heading to like one of the main exfills. Pull up your tack map and find one of these contracts with the handcuff symbol. This is a hostage contract. Head there and pick up the phone. It's going to reveal the location of a hostage nearby. Now, the hostage building is usually crawling with with heavily armored enemy AI. And as soon as you make it into the vicinity of the hostage, a timer is gonna begin. So take out the AI as fast as possible and then find the hostage and disarm the bomb. Once you do so, an extract is called in. That you're gonna need to take them to. You'll have to throw the hostage up on your shoulder, which will allow you to use your sidearm. If you don't have one, you won't be able to attack while they're on your back. To place them down, you have to look at the ground and hold the action button. It sounds dumb that I have to say that, but I couldn't figure it out on my first try and it got me killed so piss off the hostage can also take damage and you can't let him die before reaching the exfil so take your time and getting there if you need to once you place the hostage in the chopper you can stay on board for a free extract this is going to help you extract from the dmz more often but you need stuff to extract with strongholds are one of the best ways to farm loot in the dmz here is the easiest way to make sure that you always have stronghold key cards equipped in your inventory check it out. 